Hello, here we are for another modern round. We are on the play, and here we start with Ragaban, our monkey friend. Okay, probably is the mirror match, or probably is Rhinos or some other decks. Let's see. Let's find out. Kalni Garden. Okay, so we are playing against Glimpse. If we are playing against Glimpse, we need counter spells. And this is what we are going to search for. Things like Spell Pierce are quite useful. And I think Polity Delta can go there. And we might, yeah, pay to life and lightning bolt. Then we use our mana and our cards. Let's see what they do with their mana. Maybe they play Renan Six, so maybe Spell Pierce would be better. No, they play the Wave Shifter for two treasures, well, two clues. Okay, we... Wow, Omnath. Can we play Omnath? No, we cannot play Omnath just for one color. Um, hmm. I think here we maybe play the Ledger Shredder and uh, we line in Bolden and we stay with the Spell Pierce up and then next turn we, we can do the expressive iteration. I think I like that sequencing. We need to put some pressure against this deck, otherwise they come and haunt us. Okay, what do we want to send down? Unholy Heat or the land? I think the land. Yeah, and we pass the turn. Shirtless Agent. Okay, the we really put the trigger on the stack. We found the glimpse. We are going to see what we do. Mortide reagent. Um, I think here we are going to get rid of uh, expressive iteration because we have everything we need to to finish the game, right? Or do you think that we die if they play another if they play another shirtless agent? I doubt it. I doubt that we die. So we're going to get rid of uh, the press if you're going to have the unholy hit for the for the agent. So we can make sure that we hit with Dragaban. Okay, we get this anyway. Um, yeah, we are going to try to hit with Dragaban. They concede from the game. Okay, we begin to sideboard. And today uh, we had a discussion in Twitter. And uh, Mike, um, one good friend from Madrid. Hey, Mike, uh, greetings to you if you are Watching that, uh, he suggested a very interesting way to cyborg in this uh, matchup. And I think we are going to go back to the tweet and we are going to follow his advice because I think he was very much uh, on, the, on the spot when he was talking about this. So he said against uh, the, um, the Glimpse deck, we want the dress down and he said Flusterstone is very good, which makes sense for the Cascade. He also said that the Blood Moon is good. He was not so sure about the Magus because of all the ways that they have to interact with the Magus. And then he said Subtlety, I think. Well, Subtlety makes a lot of sense because we have to uh, interact with creatures that are uh, resolving naturally besides the Cascade. And then on on the list of cards that he suggested to sideboard out, 
he was mentioning the four lightning bolts. I agree with that. Uh, that's absolutely fine. He was saying a snare. I also agree because there are almost no uh, drop two um, targets. Maybe Renan six is a reason to leave it there, but we will see. And then we have Ledger Shredder. Ledger Shredder. Um, also, we were discussing if it's better to take a Martite or a Ledger Shredder. We get to the conclusion that we better want to take the Ledger Shredder out and have three Martites and three Ledger Shredders because we want to really close the game uh, soon. Otherwise, they can uh, go to a phase of the game where they play just creatures and more creatures and we are in big trouble. Okay, so that's the plan, and uh, thanks also f to Joel uh, Grenehead, that he uh, is a nice guy from Sweden that also uh, suggested uh, some ideas for this uh, sideboard that was uh, very much uh, appreciated. And uh, yeah, more people also participated in the in the discussion. That, that was cool to see, like uh, Magic Miguel, uh, I think he's from Madrid, so Greetings to him if he gets to see this video. Let's go for game 3. We are on the draw in game 3 against Glimpse and I think this hand doesn't have like counter spell but has everything we want in a proactive game of uh, Iset Martite so I think we are going to keep it. We have sufficient um, draw to ensure that we are going to to hit the counter spell. Okay, they have the Chancellor of the fort, so they have it in the initial hand, they saw it and they start the game with a Goblin, Pyrexian, Creature, with Haste. I think we are going to play Ragavan and I believe in this matchup if we trade the Ragavan for the token it's not a tragedy, as long as we want as, as few permanents as possible in the battlefield from their side. Alright, he's going to attack probably. No, he's not, so we're not going to do anything. I think here we maybe stay up. No, we, we're going to attack. I mean, one permanent less. And we have very good hand to continue playing. So it's not a tragedy that they kill Ragavan. Now we play Ledger Shredder. We play bubble, and then here we have the counter spell. Probably we are going to get rid of the consider, and we pass the turn. Okay, they do double fetch. Probably to a triom or no a stomping ground. So let's see what they have in their hand. And the, what they are going to draw, sorry, <laughs> not in the hand. Okay, Kalni Garden, that's another reason why also Ragavan gets a little bit clunky in this matchup. Sometimes they just jump block with that card and then you are in trouble. Does it make sense that they try to resolve a glimpse with just three permanents? Okay, they play Fury, they discard, or well, they exile the Chantlor. And what they are going to play, Endurance, okay, they recycle our graveyard, sending it to the bottom of the library, which is not super nice, but it's not a problem. We are going to do expressive iteration first thing in the morning, always do your expressives. Um, I think we want the Consider in the hand, we want this down and we want to play Spiral of Canal. We are going to cast Mistress Bubble, we're going to look at their top. We see a Cavern of Souls. I don't like that because it makes Onad a headache. We draw a response for their elementals, we just need to have Delirion that we are going to have at the end of this turn for sure. Blood Moon would be really good, I think, in this spot. Okay, 
and now we're going to consider subtlety I like it very much because of Onanth with the Cavern of Souls Ragavan Ragavan it's very interesting here in this spot I think here first things first we are going to fetch and uh, I think we are going to take two damage here fetching I want to have access to red mana unlimited access so we are going to get rid of this and we are going to cast Ragavan with us we are going to attack hopefully they block they will be happy to block a task Ragavan and I will be happy to kill a token no they don't okay very interesting so <laughs> we find an Onad on the top it's unbelievable it's the second time we do that with the with the Ragavan the first time our opponent said lol and now he's saying nothing so maybe he's not very happy that that happened well now we enter in a complicated territory because the, the spell pierce is not good any longer in this type of uh, situation I think here we are going to do expressive first of all and I think we want to get 3 mana no matter what Oh, Flusterstone, it's something I want. Bubble, we don't need it that much. We take Polluted Delta, and I think we are going to hard cast the Ragavan, and we are going to pass the turn. We have a good hand against them, but the deck is good. Uh, even with this type of hands, they, they manage to, to win. What do they play? Agent. Agent. Okay, what do we want to do here? I think we want to use the charm, but maybe he or she has access to a mystical dispute and then we are in serious trouble. What about we play Spell Pierce? We may then pay two and then we use our Fluster Storm. Okay, they pay two and now we Fluster Storm this but I think we are going to fetch if they have Fluster Storm themselves, we we just made a shit play. But if they don't, we are fine. Same targets. Maybe they even didn't have the dispute. Or if they have it, they, they might be now super unhappy. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, holy heat. I think we are going to take care of this. We are going to attack, and hopefully they block this time. Although they have really a lot of permanents. Now they enter in a territory where they can uh, start to cast hard cast the Chancellor. Hallowed Fontaine. Now they have access to white well that's relevant for the solitudes I think we don't want to draw three here counter spell now we start to well draw three and <laughs> draw two uh, it's three blue mana but you draw two dead do we want our ragaban dead I don't think so, he's working hard. Okay, nice try, very nice try. Another glimpse. 
and we are going to use the charm here to counter target spell and we still have some protection against any creature that they might have the fairy, ah that's a pity we cannot play it another cavern of souls that's very good for us okay that's a very solid draw and unless they resolve a glimpse this draw is really good and we have found a dead cone on the top of the library which make it even more interesting for us. Let's see what they draw. The fairy. Well, we have this ability here, and I think that's game. And that was a nice match against Glimpse and. Uh, it's a good one as long as we talk today about this uh, matchup in Twitter and I think it will be nice to post it and uh, yeah thanks for the help on uh, checking in the sideboard plan I think it worked pretty good okay this is the last uh, leak uh, before uh, Copenhagen I think I'm going to be posting a couple of videos from tonight during the weekend and um, yeah thanks for watching thanks for your support and i'm very excited about this event i hope we will have a good time we will see some old faces after a long long time a difficult time out of the game very much looking forward to the gathering part very much looking forward to have some fun all together take good care enjoy the weekend doesn't matter where you are and thanks very much for subscribing and liking the video and my content it means a lot to me i'm having tons of fun preparing these videos and hopefully helping someone uh, on their magic tournament preparations or if you just uh, are at home and you're just watching this while you are cooking or doing something else Thanks uh, for letting me be with you and have a good day. Bye.